All right, in this last video, we looked at adding in like a name like this, and then it will show, but you'll notice that we're throwing an error, and we want it to be this custom error, but that's not what's happening. Instead, it's simply showing this error element that just says error. So how do we get our customized error message inside of this error component? Well, React Router actually is gonna give us several things that allow us to have more customization. There's a hook that we get inside of React Router called Use Route Error. You can see if I click enter here, it will auto import this from React uh, Router DOM. So let's go ahead and just name this something like const error equals uh, use error. So if I go ahead and console like this, and I come back over here and I look at the console, you can see that if I come in here and type Chris, now I'm going to get this error. And you see that I actually have access to the error message right here. There was a problem creating your account. That's our custom error message. Now, at times there won't be an error message, but there might be an error status text. And so either way, I want to show one of those rather than just saying error. So let's do a couple things to customize this component. First of all, I'm going to add a class to this div just so that it's styled a little bit better. So I'll say error and our CSS should pick that up and do some stuff with it. Next, I want an H1 here that says like, uh-oh, all right, we've uh, got a problem. Right below here, I want a paragraph, and here's where I'm going to display my custom error message. So this will either show the error dot message or it will show the error.status text. So if I save that, now it says, uh-oh, we've got a problem. There was an error creating your account. Now, I want to give the user some kind of action that they can take because there's nothing like just being told, yeah, there's a problem, deal with it, all right? So let's go ahead and give them something they can do. So below here, I want to add two different buttons. We're going to add these both inside of container with a class of flex medium. This will flex out these items, let them wrap, but add medium spacing between them. I am trying to stay away from talking about CSS much in this tutorial so that we can focus on React Router DOM, but if you're cu curious, I tried to write the CSS to where you can see what's going on there. So that's just a utility class that I've written that we'll use throughout the site. Now we'll have two things inside of here. We're going to have a button and we're going to have a link. Now the button should actually move you backwards and we're going to use a on-click handler to do that. So it should take you back to whatever page we were looking at previously. And then the link will always take you to the home page. So for now, let's just say button, and then down below here, also I want link. And again, this link will be from React Router DOM. So since it didn't import for me, I'm gonna go ahead and just manually type link, and then now we've got access to that. Let's do the link first since we've done those before. Well, I guess we've done a nav link, but this is essentially the exact same thing. It just doesn't add the ARIA current page to it, so we can't style it based on the page we're on, but we don't need that, it's just a normal link. So we'll say span, and then here we'll just say go home, and once again, since we've gone ahead and imported some icons already, let's go ahead and use that here as well. So we'll say library imports, and we're gonna import here a home icon. And you can see that import statement from hero icons, and that's the one I want. So let me come down here and we'll add that in here with a width of 20. Now it's aired out because with these links, just like with the nav link, you have to tell it where to point. All right, this is like it's href. In this case, I always want it to go back to the home page. And then let's give it a class name just so we can style it with button and button dark. All right, perfect. Now we've got this little micro button. Let's do something with that. So inside here, we're gonna do two things. I'm gonna have a span that says go back. And then I actually want an arrow that looks backwards as well. We're gonna get this from hero icons as well. So we'll call arrow U-turn left icon right there. So we'll pull this in as well, and we'll give this width of 20. So if I save it, there it is, but let's go ahead and style this, give this our class name of button, and then again, button dark. Now if I go ahead and click here, this should just take me back home, that works. However, if I have an error message again that I show, what happens if I click over here? Well, I actually wanna go back to whatever the previous route was, and React Router DOM keeps a history of all of that. And I can call that history with a use navigate hook. So let's come up top here, and we're also gonna pull on use navigate. And let's just call this navigate. And that's what we'll set that use navigate to. Just double check, yep, yeah, pulled it in up top, good. So what I can do is on this button, add an on click handler. And on click, when it's clicked, I'm going to say navigate negative one. So go back one page. If I did negative two, it would go back two routes. Uh, all that just is dependent on what number you pass in. Let me space this out to make it a little bit easier to see. Now in this case, this happens to be the same thing as the home page, but it, it may not always be. So I'm gonna click go back and it should take me to the previous page. All right, so that's all there is to creating these custom error messages. Now, whenever I hit an error on this error element, it will look and see what the error is. It'll then display that below an H1, and then it'll give me actions for the user so they can actually do something rather than just be upset that they hit an error on my site. 
So I'll close that down and let's go ahead and remove this custom error that we added. And now everything should work properly. In fact, if I come over here and save it and say, Chris, it should say, welcome Chris. And we're set to go. No errors. I delete and Chris is gone. We're back at the splash page. In the next video, we're going to create another form. And this form is going to take in a name and an amount for a budget. When those budgets are created, we want our loader function to actually grab those and display them on our home dashboard.